We're all ready. To, is, are we ready to start in there? Is the tape rolling? We're making this on a, on a tape recording. And that's why we have to stop between these corners. Stand by now. Uh, Talkback works, too. <laughs> <clears throat> CBS now invites you to enjoy Life with Luigi. Yes, it's Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard, written and directed by Lou Derman and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. And now, let's look in on that little antique shop in Chicago, where Luigi Basco is writing another letter describing his adventures in America to his mama Basco in Italy. <laughs> Dear mamma <mommy. laughs> Excuse me, Mamma Mia, if I didn't write to you this week. But you know, even if I don't write, I'm always thinking about you. Pasquale knows this, and he calls me Mamma's a boy. But I would rather be Mamma's a boy than Rosa's a husband. <laughs> oh, Mamma Mia, you should have seen Pasquale. For the last couple of weeks, he's bothered me terrible to marry his fat daughter, Rosa. <laughs> he tells me he's good for my income tax because... Then I could have put down one dependent. <laughs> but the mamma me, that's like marrying the elephant to save money on the peanuts. <laughs> but the mamma me, this morning I was, I was dusting off of my statues in my antique shop when suddenly my door is open up. Hi, Luigi. Oh, hello, Mr. Post Office. Hey, you got a letter from me for... for, for you got a letter from my mamma me, would I dare show my face in here if I didn't? Yeah. Oh, oh, thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, Mr. Post Office, she only writes me a letter when she can find Uncle Pietro, and he only writes when he can find his eyeglasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess all mothers are the same. That's it. Hey, what's wrong, Luigi? Not bad news, I hope. No, no, it's not, not too bad, but... Listen. My dear son, Luigi. How you feel? That's a good, I'm a glad. <laughs> It was only yesterday, me and Uncle Pietro, we were sitting around and remembering things about you. How you was only three and a half pounds when you was born. So Uncle Pietro bought the goat, and she was giving you so much milk that the goat thought that she was your mama. Oh, gee, that's cute. <laughs> that's nice, huh? And, and then she says, my dear son, then we started to look on your baby pictures. We got pictures of you from two years old, three years old, four years old. After four years old, there's no more pictures because that's the one of the goat. They up with the camera. <laughs> that goat sounds like a character. Ah, she was just like a member of the family. And here's some more. And so my son, Luigi, I think about you all the time. And I think how I'm getting older and, and maybe I'm, I'm never going to see you no more because of the big ocean that's between us. Anyway, always I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for you, my, my son. <laughs> Uh, post office? Yeah, Luigi. How much it costs to go to Italy? Well, I don't know. Five hundred bucks, maybe? Mamma mia. Why? You're thinking of going back for a visit? Well, if it's a cost so much, there's only one way I could go back. Squeeze myself into some airmail envelope. <laughs> But Luigi, five hundred dollars is a fortune of money. Yes, I know, Schultz, but I don't like to lend money from friends. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? I couldn't lend you five hundred dollars if I was your worst enemy. Now, why do you suddenly need five hundred dollars, Luigi? Did you run out of coffee? No, 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 Schultz. <laughs> what is that? It's a letter I have got from my mom and me today. She writes how she's getting older, and she would like to see me once more. That's uh, making me feel a little bit the homesick. Ugh, I know just how you feel, little Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> you know, Luigi, my first couple of years in America, I got so lonesome for the old country. And Mama, I lost 20 pounds. Oh. And then uh, what do you did, Schultz? I got married. 
Oh, good. Then you gained the back of the 20 pounds, huh? No, I lost 10 more. <laughs> oh, smile, Luigi. Maybe in a year or two you will save up enough money to go home. <clears throat> How is the antique business? Is it uh, picking up? No, sure, she's laying down. <laughs> Yesterday, my cash registers opened up at the mart only one time. And with how much I'm put in, I think I'm going to starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> but sure, so where, where am I going to get the oh, money stop, to... Luigi. Into my head, an idea just pooped. <laughs> I, I hate to talk about that old skin flint, but, well, um, how about your landlord, Pasquale? No, 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 sure, so not, not him. Well, I know how you feel about him, Luigi, but, well, Pasquale has got the money, ain't he? Pasquale, he's... Uh, He's got so much money in his mattress that he's worth more laying down than standing up. <laughs> uh, no, sure, Sam. I'm, I'm a thought about the Pasquale, but, but you know him. The only way he would lend me money is if I was to marry his fat daughter, Rosa. No, no, don't you do it, Luigi. After all, marriage is a sacred thing and should only be entered into with mutual love and understanding and tenderness uh. and... How much would Pasquale give you to marry Rosa? Uh, Two thousand dollars, yeah. Grab it! Yeah. Luigi, my friend! <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Uh, hello, Pasquale. Uh, uh, Pasquale, uh, how you feel today? Huh? Oh, I feel fine, little banana nose. <laughs> Why you ask? Uh, well, uh, I think uh, maybe you you better sit down, uh, Pasquale, huh? What well, for? I'm going to sit down. Well, uh, sit down, uh, Pasquale. All right, all right. What do you want to do? Play cards? A little canazza? <laughs> <laughs> no, no cards. Just, 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 just uh, please sit down, uh, Pasquale. All right, all right. I'm sitting there. Now, so what? Well, Pasquale... There's a something I'm going to ask you that you've been wanting I should ask you ever since you brought to me here from Italy. No. Luigi, what are you going to ask me? Is it got to do something with what I got that you've been fighting not to get that I would have died to have you get got? Miss <laughs> well, that's right. Okay, I give up. What are we talking about? <laughs> well, Pasquale, is there's a come a time in a man's life when... When he feels that he should, he should stop being single, he, even if he's got to marry a girl who looks a double. <laughs> Luigi, you talk in English, but the words, they're coming out like a scrabble. <laughs> but, well, I've, I've been thinking I'm, I'm not getting younger, and every day your rosa, she's getting heavier. <laughs> Is this why you ask me to sit down just to tell me rosa's a fat? No, 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 please, Pasquale, not, not the fat, Pasquale, uh, uh, Rosa, she's, uh, she's got a beautiful shape. Uh, beautiful, beautiful shape. For a girl who weighs uh, 250 pounds. Then <laughs> with the 250 pounds of business, No, eh? Pasquale, please, please. Believe me. And I heard they look good. Is it better than the movies, even? The movies? What do you mean? Well, uh, the movies has got a three dimensions, and she's got a 12. <laughs> Luigi, I told you before. No, Pasquale, I... uh, Pasquale, I... Uh, I, I, I want to marry her. Marry? Luigi, you, you want to be my son-in-law? That's right. Marry my Rosa? Yes. Take her for your lawful wedded wife? Yes. You can't have her. <laughs> but Pasquale, you... Oh, no, you must be joking. You always... Uh, Begging me to marry Rosa. Well, I changed my mind about you, Mr. Fowler. And for the money I'm giving away with a Rosa, I could get a domestic stuff. <laughs> I don't understand you. That's to make a two of us. What makes you change? You're so all of a hurry. Why you suddenly decided to enter into matrimony with a Rosa? <laughs> well, I'm a decider because maybe it could be a... Maybe it could be love, Pasquale. Sure. Could be pickles, too, but I don't think so. <laughs> Come on, Luigi, tell the truth. To why you suddenly want a roast, huh? Pasquale, you... You still offering a reward for the fellow who takes a roast, huh? <laughs> So you after the thousand dollar dowry is a reward, eh? Thousand, Pasquale. Last week you offered two thousand. So this week she's a mark down to one thousand. <laughs> What 
What's the matter, Luigi? You need the money? You uh, in some little trouble, maybe? No, 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 it's no trouble, Pasquale. It's, uh... Pasquale. Huh? Maybe you muck her up a little bit, maybe 1500 No. <laughs> Fifty. Absolutely not. Ten O T T. All right, the one thousand. Ha! 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 Oh, you big dope! I would have settled for eleven hundred. Too late now. Well, one one thousand is going to be all right, Pasquale. You can make the five hundred dollar down payment now, and and the rest you pay me out in a twelve easy payment. Uh, hey, what am I buying here? A son-in-law, a television set. <laughs> Don't, don't argue it. If you want to make this deal, it's $500 down. C-O-D card. <laughs> well, look, if I give you the 500 are you willing to sign a promissory note to marry Rosa on site? Well, Pasquale, I, I, I promise uh, to marry her in 90 days. It's it just like cash. And there's no return on the merchandise. <laughs> No, it's not returning because of what I'm a buy, I'm, I'm a keep. <laughs> All right, Luigi, I give you 500 cash. My mattress was getting a little lumpy around the head anyway. <laughs> we shake on the deal, huh, Luigi? All right, we shake up, Pascali. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so happy. I, I got to kiss you. <laughs> no, no, Pascali, stop. Stop, stop. Please stop, Pascali. You kiss her like a fish, yet. <laughs> I, I can't help it, Luigi. You know how it is. All your life, you dream of a fellow rushing up on a white horse to carry off your daughter. <laughs> Suddenly, you come along, you take away my horse. <laughs> Rosa! Rosa, come here quick! You call me Papa? Yes, my little butterball. Rosa, guess what? Luigi's just proposing to me, and you say yes. Well, don't you hear me, baby? We got him. We got him. The fight is over. Rosa, ain't you going to say something? <laughs> well, Luigi, what do you think? I think I should have held out for 2000 <laughs> Stop, Rosa. Tell Luigi what a lucky fella he's going to be. Oh, Papa, please. Well, you've got to say something, Rosa. All right. Thank you for marrying me, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Rosa. <laughs> and, uh, I hope I can do the same for you someday. <laughs> Shut up, your face. You're going to kiss me. <laughs> So good, Luigi. You know what else I'm going to do for you, my son? What the Pasquale? Every time Rosa has a baby, I give you five hundred dollars of bonus. Five hundred dollars? For twins, I pay a thousand dollars. That's what they call a double indemnity. <laughs> hey, Luigi. Now we almost the blood relatives. Tell me, why you need this money so quick? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Italy, Pasquale. Wonderful. Benissimo. You're going to take a rosa for animal. No, 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 Pasquale. No. Huh? Pasquale, I'm, I'm got to go all alone on this honeymoon. Alone? <laughs> Luigi, I know my rosa. She's not going to be happy if you get a selfish go on the honeymoon without her. No, but listen, listen, yeah. Pasquale. Well, I don't like it either. I don't want no long-distance son-in-laws. But... <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just going home for a couple of weeks to, to see my mamma mia. Ah, <laughs> and when you expect to trot down the bridal path with my rosa? No, Pasquale, remember, remember our deal is, is in 90 days. I changed my mind. You got to be all excited now. And if you don't marry rosa right away, is there no boat of money and you can kiss your antique shop and go by too? What? No, Pasquale, you mean if I, I'm a donor marry rosa, then, and I don't marry her right away, then, then you're going to... Kicking me out of my store? Quicker than you could have said Jackie Robinson. <laughs> well, you want to marry Rosa now? Go see your poor lonesome mom, or you want to sleep in the park with little birdies at the night? No, no. Pasquale, please, please. G give me a little time, huh? Okay, you got a two seconds. The time's up. What's the answer? 
All right, the answer is enough. All right, Mr. Bachelor, you can start moving your stuff out right now. Tomorrow at the antique shop is going to be a barber shop. Mamma mia. <laughs> Friends, be with us tomorrow at this same time for more fun when Luigi becomes involved in selling vacuum cleaners to raise the money for his fare to Italy.